we're told to use the exponential function f of x equals two to the power of x as the parent function and write the formula that gives the following transformations. A, shift f of x two units down. And looking at our notes below, given f of x, g of x equals f of x plus k is a vertical shift of k units of f of x, where if k is less than zero or negative, the shift is down. If k is greater than zero or positive, the shift is up. Because we wanna shift two units down, we have g of x equals f of x minus two, giving us g of x equals two to the power of x minus two. Once we get down here, we'll check all of these graphically. B shifts f of x two units right. Again, going back to our notes, given f of x, g of x equals f of the quantity x minus h is a horizontal shift of h units of f of x, where if h is positive or greater than zero, the shift is right. If h is less than zero or negative, the shift is left. We wanna shift two units right, and therefore we use a positive two for h, giving us g of x equals f of the quantity x minus two, indicating g of x equals two to the power of the quantity x minus two. C reflects f of x about the x-axis. Looking at the graph on the right, if we reflect something across the x-axis, we need to change the signs of all the y-coordinates. Recall y values are function values. Going back to our notes, given f of x, g of x equals the opposite of f of x is a reflection about the x-axis or vertical reflection. This indicates for C, we have g of x equals the opposite of f of x, indicating g of x equals the opposite of two to the power of x. Because we have a single term in the parentheses, we can remove the parentheses and simply write the opposite of two to the power of x. However, if the parent function f of x was a sum of terms, we would need, we would need the parentheses. D reflects f of x about the y-axis. If something's reflected across the y-axis, the signs of the x-coordinates must change. Looking at our notes, given f of x, g of x equals f of negative x, is a reflection about the y-axis or horizontal reflection. This indicates for D, we have g of x equals f of negative x, which is two to the power of negative x. And now before we go, let's check all of these graphically using Desmos. I've already set this up. We have the parent function graphed y equals two to the power of x. And now we'll graph y equals two to the x minus two. Notice this does shift the graph down two units. Next, we have y equals two to the power of the quantity x minus two. Notice this does shift the graph right two units. Next, we have y equals the opposite of two to the power of x, which does reflect the graph across the x-axis. And finally, we have y equals two to the power of negative x, which does reflect the graph across the y-axis. All these graphs do verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.